sounded like a train. After that, that's when we heard the hole in the back pop, the one over here pop. And I was just like, Lord, okay, we, we just going to pray this one through. The pole in her backyard snapped, pulling down the power line. Basically, everybody over here don't have power blocks away. The lights are screwy. They sound they were on this morning or out now. Joe and Martha were hoping to clean up debris, but... The only chainsaw I got is electric, so <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else today. They said the storm took them by surprise. We knew we had a storm coming, but <laughs> we didn't know it would be this. We didn't know we were having a storm coming. To show you something no one in our newsroom can ever remember seeing before. Memphis International Airport evacuated this morning, and it's a good thing, too, because winds blew out windows in the concourse where passengers wait for their flights. Here's Local 24 News reporter Jalen so Suchek, I'm sorry, local in Memphis. Well, early this morning, the airport was hit by very strong winds. It caused multiple windows to be knocked out here at Concourse A. Right up here in those big open squares, that is actually caused by a metal scaffolding that hit those windows, knocking them out. The crew spent the morning cleaning up the broken glass. There Another window blown out over in Concourse C. An airport spokesman says there was also damage to a jet bridge, but the airport says thankfully there weren't any injuries this morning. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. There were moments of chaos, however, followed by delays when passengers waiting to load their planes were evacuated from the concourses. Passengers were directed out of the concourse back into ticketing where we have our shelter areas in the bathrooms uh, that can accommodate more people. Um, unfortunately, that required people to be rescreened to get back to their gates, but uh, all of that has taken place and, and we're back under normal operations. The airport couldn't confirm if any passengers were already on their planes when they were evacuated, but some on social media said they were ordered to exit their plane and leave their baggage behind. That's the pilot call, but it's also entirely possible that, yes, there, there might have been a few planes in which the pilot decided to get the passengers back into the airport. The ticketing area was packed this morning with passengers waiting to get back through TSA after being evacuated, but the airport says everything went smooth this morning. An airport spokesman said a few planes did have to get delayed this morning, but other than that, none of them had to be canceled altogether. Reporting in the Memphis International Airport, Jalen Socek, Local 24 News. Okay, good. I'm glad it plays again. I'm glad I didn't stop recording. Well, as you saw there, we were indeed hit with a tornado. Yesterday morning, it's now been a complete 24 hours since then. Obviously, it's a bit of a mess right now, and I'm actually going to post some screenshots of it here when we first got the warning. Yeah, and obviously the signs are going off to cover in the bathroom and in the bathtub actually and, you know, just preparing for the impact. And last time I said 23,000 people off the power, I don't, know if it's, I don't know if that's still, you know, the case or not with it, but, I mean, before it was 40 or 50,000 or something like that, power lines were snapped, trees were uprooted, traffic lights were destroyed, and obviously... It's a complete mess right now. Who is that? Okay, neighbor, but... Yeah, it's a bit of a mess right now, and hopefully you'll be seeing nothing else after this. If you do, then you do. If you don't, then nothing else happened, but regardless of what does happen in the future with this, 
That's it for right now. Complete chaos. And also look at this. Not even a cloud in the sky today. That wind is freezing.